It has been almost four weeks since we got our 50th Great One. And since then, we have been on one of the longest drag streaks in our Great One grinding history. Having grinded every single day since then, at least a couple of hours, we have managed to get 2,400 Red Deer kills, 2,100 Fallow Deer kills, and added over 1,000 Bear kills to our Great One Black Bear grind with no Great Ones to show for it. But the day has finally come. We ended this massive dry streak with a bang. Not only did we get a stunning Great One Fallow Deer to show up after 2,161 kills, making this our longest Fallow grind, but also took a really risky shot on it in an attempt to Texas Heart Shot a Great One. So let's get into some of the Fallow Deer trophies that we found as we search for the Great One Fallow Deer. Ooh, that's big. Oh, that's a big old five there. That's a chocolate five too. The big old chocolate five. He thick? He thick? Oh yeah, that's big rack. That's a pretty wide one. Could this be 270? <gasps> ah! Yes! No way, a chocolate 270! Holy crap, we got a chocolate 270! Yes! Yes! A chocolate 270 fallow! Oh my gosh, that is so insane! Finally, we got a 270 to be chocolate or white! Holy crap, dude, that's awesome! This is so tough to get, I'm so happy! <laughs> That was like such a roller coaster. I, I saw it first and I'm like, ah, oh, that's a that's a that's a pretty big chocolate fallow deer. We get up to it and I'm like, man, that is that's really big. That could definitely be something good. <laughs> we pick it up and it's massive. Ooh, another five. Nice. It's a big boy uh white fur type. Could it be a 270? We got a 270 chocolate not that long ago. That'd be incredible if we can get a matching white fur type. 259 minimum estimate. That could make it. It's got a chance. It's got a chance. That's got a chance of being 270. I'm gonna guess 268. That looks big, but I don't think it's gonna be 270. Ah, oh, I was right, 268, okay. That's taxable though, I will tax that one. That is a massive white fur type fallow deer. Holy crap, 268.52. CJ, yo, what's up, dude? You will not believe this, CJ. During the first hour of the stream, we killed 100 fallow. 100 fallow in an hour. Isn't that just insane? I've never killed that many fallow in one hour. And literally the only thing that I've done different than I was before is I killed a level two and a small three from a couple of my zones and added them to the rotation. And it greatly increased. Oh, that's a die. Whoa. What? This rack on a five actually made it? No way! Dude! You know how rare it is to have the troll rack five actually make it? No freaking way! The problem is, like, I'm not gonna tax it because it looks identical to the level four diamonds. So it's not, it doesn't look any different. I'm not gonna know it's a five when it's in the trophy manager or the lodge. That's crazy. Got a piebald whitetail today and yesterday. Nice, Carter. That's awesome, dude. It never gets old seeing a rare. And honestly, that's the amazing thing about this game that keeps me playing. No matter how many great ones I've had, no matter how many rares I've had, I still don't get tired of seeing them. And the same for diamonds. Like, if it's a species that I have not heard managed heavily, I'm still super, super excited to see them even after having spent thousands upon thousands of hours playing this game. It's the sole reason that I'm actually able to continue playing this game and not get bored. Because the feeling of enjoyment when you get a trophy never goes away. Favorite trophy ever? <gasps> ah! Yes! There we 
we go. Oh, let's go, boys. It's a big rack. It's a typical rack. It's a typical big rack. Let's go. Is that... Oh, it's a, is that a mocha or a golden? Is that a mocha or a golden? I think it's golden. I think that's golden. I don't care, though. It's a typical rack. Let's go. 2,161 kills. Finally. After our longest fallow grind ever. There's the great one. Let's freaking go, guys. Let's freaking go. Oh my gosh, it's about time. It's about time. <laughs> oh man, he's beautiful. Holy crap, he's wide too. Wow, that is a crazy looking one. Dude, that thing is so wide. I think at least. I might be remembering wrong. But I think that's really wide. That looks really wide for this rack. Let's freaking go, guys. That's such a sick great one. <laughs> oh gosh, dude, I killed my voice. It keeps cracking now. I, I yelled too loud. I yelled too loud. Which is nothing new. You guys know me. I get really excited over these things. Holy crap. What do we do? Do we do the, the Marathi Model 1894? I think we do because I really love this gun. Look at that massive fallow deer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's incredible looking. I want to get some good pics of this guy. Okay, we got 35 minutes before the end of their drink time, so we got a little bit of time. Texas hard shot? Oh, you know it. You guys already know it. We have been building up to this moment, attempting a Texas hard shot on a great one. The 44 will make getting the penetration easy. Like, we can easily hit vitals, so I'm not worried about that. It's going to be about getting the proper angle to hit it in the heart. That's going to be the tough part. Okay. Face away from me. If you guys didn't know, it's easier to get close to the animals if they're facing away from you. Their vision actually does play a part in whether or not you can get close. Which is why this guy started going attentive, but some of the other ones that are facing away from us don't go attentive that quickly. E-collar? Oh my gosh, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I don't have it on me! <laughs> okay, we're just gonna get pictures, and then we're gonna go get the collar. Why didn't I think about that? It's time. Okay. Let's go get the collar. And we're gonna use it on him. All right, here we go. Don't you dare. Don't you, don't you do it. We cannot be in the blind. Because it's too close to being downwind. Gotta get further over here. 50. We're 0 to 50. He's 44 away. Oh, I don't know if we got the Texas hard shot, but we got him vitally. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing so bad. I haven't had a great one fallow make my heart race this much in a long time. But going for that butt shot just does it to you, man. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. <laughs> 278. He's massive. <laughs> Look at this beast. We barely missed the Texas hard shot. No! We barely missed it. Do you see how close that was? Oh, we almost got it. Man, we almost got the Texas hard shot. I don't even care, though. This thing is so beautiful. I'm glad we finally got another typical rack. This is only the second one we've had out of 10 Great One Fallow. This rack is rare, man. I'm so happy to have another one. Can't wait for this video title. I shot a great one in the butt. Butt shotting a great one fallow. 
The fallow were a pain in my behind, so I became a behind in his, or a, a pain in his behind. <laughs> oh man. The possibilities are endless for the title for this video. <laughs> Holy crap, he looks crazy good on the wall. Okay, this is one of the few great ones that has like fabled furs where I actually think it looks really good on the wall. That actually looks incredible and it really goes to show how nice that rack is compared to diamonds because this is a super rare albino fallow next to it. And look at how much bigger the antlers are. His antlers are massive. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe we finally ended the bad luck streak and got ourselves another great one fallow. 2,161 fallow kills later, like 2,400 red deer kills in between our last great one and this one, like 1,000 bear kills in that mix as well. Been like over 5,000 kills since we had a great one.